So here we are at Bayviews, my new coaching venue, and I'd like to introduce you to a client of mine, Mel. Mel, you're struggling a little bit with chipping at the moment. Yes. What is the result of your bad chips? What are you feeling? Uh, feels like I'm, I've got the yips almost with the chipping, but certainly I, I fat it more than I uh, thin it, but I do thin it every now and then when I get really tense. So okay. a lot of, lot of pressure in the grip. So and what effect is this having on your scores? Oh, well, it's pushing them up. Uh, if it takes you an extra couple of shots to get on the green, uh, you know, okay. I'm a quite a good putter, so if I could just get on the green, I actually would be a, a much better chance good. at a score. And what's your handicap, just for everyone? 18. 18. And we want to get that down. Ah, yes, back down where it used to be. About so, 14? Yeah. yeah, it was about off uh, 13 or 14. So. Good. Okay. Let me see you hit a chip. So that was probably a good one for you. It was. It's gone right off the back of the green. However, <laughs> you didn't have a lot of control. No, I didn't. Okay, so what I'm seeing when I watch you is I'm seeing a lot of hand action. Now, that's good for when you're hitting a pitch shot and you're trying to hit it in the air and stay in the air. When you're hitting a chip shot, we don't want to see that. We want to see the ball with a lower trajectory and we want the ball to run a little bit. So I've got a little drill that I'm going to introduce you to that I think is going to help. So we've got a ball here and on the ball, you may not be able to pick it up in that camera, but there's a bit of a seam going. So if you can take your setup the way you would normally set up, and I'm going to put the ball between your forearms. Okay, so do your normal backswing when you chip. So at the moment, the seam is now pointing over here. So the seam has moved. Have another backswing, trying to keep the seam facing the front. So when you swing it back, now the seam is still pointing in the same direction as it was. Is that a different feeling? Uh, yeah, very much the face stays to target more than opening up. Okay, so you're feeling that the face is staying pretty square to the target, yes. both back and through. Yep. Good. What, I, what you can also see is there's less hands involved in the shot and it's a much better looking swing. Okay, let's see what happens when we put a ball down there. I can put, you just take your setup, I'll put the ball in there. <laughs> it's a bit hard. It's a bit awkward by yourself. Okay, let's pop the ball in there. Good. So keep that thought of keeping that uh, seam on the ball looking at the camera. So ever so slightly thin, but that's not a bad chip shot. No, that's, it's that's a good thin. There are, there is good and there's bad thin. Bad thin really gets you over the back. That was only slightly thin, but that's a pretty good res result. Okay, so let's do it again. And we're not thinking of the flag stick. There is one there. We're just thinking contact at the moment. That one was bad thin. <laughs> and the, the seam pointed over here. So the club face opened a little bit and your hands got involved in that one. So let's have another go. Two practice swings. Nice and slow, you don't have to get fast with the, with the backswing. We want a smooth swing. Good, okay. That's a much better shot. Yep. Feeling different? Yep, that felt out of the centre, quite controlled. Good, okay. We're going to hit one more. There's a little something I've just noticed there that we want to get rid of. So you do your normal setup. Okay, so from here I can see the ball in the neck of the club. That's not really a spot you want to address the ball from. We want to hit it more in the middle, but even slightly toes good. Okay, now when you hit this one, we're going to try and get this one a bit closer to that flag stick. So I've got an alignment stick just off to the left. See if you can land it about where the alignment stick is, or level with it to the right. Okay, just a bit beyond that, but that's a decent shot. Even that shot there is going to lower your score. And Absolutely. that's probably a flag stick and a half just beyond where we're going. That would be a great result. With my putting, yes. <laughs> you are a good putter. I'm a good putter. Yeah, Mel's taken some money off me on the greens at times in the past. Okay, let's do one more without the training aid on you. Two practice swings. Feel like that ball's between your arms. And focus on that landing area as well. just a bit beyond the landing area. Contact was slightly thin, 
But even that, it's on the green, it's going to be a better result. More control. I felt yeah. like they had more control. Okay, so what I'd like you to do from here is maybe a couple of times during the week, if you watch something on TV, during one of the ad breaks, get that ball and put it between your arms and just have a few practice swings. Don't hit balls, just get used to what that feels like and then have a couple of little chipping sessions. Cool, thank you, Doctor. What effect's that going to have on your score? Ah, uh, look, I, it's probably five or six strokes. So, you know, if it takes, you know, four or five of those that miss the green and, and that's just added shots before you putt, so. So if it takes five or six off your score, you won't get to 14? No, I'll get down to 12. You're going to get down 12. to 12. <laughs> that's exciting. Yes. Good. Okay, so if you want to lower your score, I'm going to put a link to another video just here that I know is going to help you to lower your score.